Hey, this is Susan Velez from SusanVelez.com and welcome to my YouTube channel where I teach you the technical side of dealing with a self-hosted WordPress blog for beginners. So in today's tutorial, before we get started, what I'd like you to do is subscribe to that YouTube, to this YouTube channel. This way you'll be notified whenever I put out a new tutorial that will help you with your own WordPress blog. So in today's tutorial, what we're going to do is I'm going to be discussing the best way to deal with a WordPress upgrade issue. So what I'm talking about is we all know WordPress 4.7 just was recent re recently released on December 6th. A lot of you may be scared to update and some of you may have updated and ran into some type of issues. So what I want to do is I want to show you what the best way to deal with a and when a disaster strikes and you update your WordPress site. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to downgrade back to your previous version of WordPress 4.6.1 in case you do happen to have an issue. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be downgrading to WordPress 4.5 right here. And the only reason I'm doing that is just to kind of show you that you can actually downgrade to any previous version that you want. Um, of course, you wouldn't want to because you want to make sure that you're always running the latest version of WordPress. So let's get started. So here I am inside of my demonstrations uh, tutorial WordPress site. And as you can see, this is the new updated WordPress 4.7, the 2017 theme. So what we want to do is we want to pretend like I just upgraded to the uh, 4.7 and I am now seeing all types of errors and issues. And the quickest way to do this on a live site so that way you can get your site back up and running and then you can troubleshoot your issues and find out what's causing the errors is to downgrade back to the previous version. And in order to do that you want to go to wordpress.org forward slash download forward slash release hyphen archive. And what this does is this brings up the archives of all the previous versions of WordPress. And as you can see, there are a ton of archives. So what we want to do is for this actual demonstration, I'm going to be downgrading to the 4.5 version. So you'll want to go through here and find out what, pre what version you're on right now. Most likely you're probably on the 4.6.1 version. What you'll want to do is you'll want to download the zip file. So I'm going to download the 4.5 version zip file and then you're going to want to save it so you can see right here it says wordpress 4.5 zip so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually save this to my desktop but i've already got it saved to my desktop so i'm not going to save it again so i'm just going to close this out and come over here to my desktop and you can see right here it says wordpress 4.5 zip so we're going to be installing this manually and in order to do this we're going to do it via ftp so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the zip file because we want to extract all the files. And then I don't need this archive anymore, so I'm going to just delete that. And then I've got these WordPress files right here. Now, before we start uploading files and deleting files from our server, there are a couple, uh, there is one folder in here that we do not want to migrate over. And the reason being is because all your current WordPress themes and plugins that you're using on your live site right now are inside of this folder right here, the WordPress content content folder. As you can see, if you open up this file, you'll see it has the plugins and the themes. And these are the current, if, if you have a live site, your plugins, you have all kinds of plugins installed, and then you've got your chosen WordPress theme that you're using. And as you can see right here, it's the 2015, 14, and 16. Um, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we do not upload this to our current live site. So <clears throat> what I like to do to make sure that I don't upload it is I go ahead and delete it from my archive folder. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that so I don't accidentally upload it to my WordPress, my current version of WordPress. So then what you'll want to do is you're going to want to access your FTP file or your FTP client and you're going to log in to the WordPress site that you have upgraded and in our, and now want to downgrade to a previous version. So in order to do that, you're going to go to your FTP client and you're going to go to the public HTML. Mine is inside a of a subdomain called demonstrations. 
So you're going to want to make sure that you're inside of the correct folder or the correct WordPress site. If you have several WordPress sites, make sure you're inside the correct folder. And what we're going to do is we're going to start deleting folders. So for the process, I'm actually going to delete everything that I need to delete. And then I'm going to come back and show you what your server should look like before you actually start deleting any files or folders or before you start uploading folders. So let me go ahead and delete what I need to delete. And then I'm going to come back and show you how yours should look. So don't delete anything until I show you. So hold on just a minute. All right, so I've deleted everything that needs to be inside, everything that I need to de delete to upgrade, or I'm sorry, downgrade to the previous version of WordPress. And as you can see, inside of my demonstrations, WordPress subdomain, I actually left the WordPress content and the WordPress config PHP file. Now, as you can see, this is the one that has the themes and the plugins. Of course, my demo site doesn't actually have any actual plugins or themes because it's just a demo site, but yours would actually have all the current themes and plugins that you're using on your WordPress site. So please do not delete this folder when you are downgrading your WordPress site. And you definitely don't want to delete your WordPress config.php file because this is the file that is actually attached to your current database. So you want to make sure that you keep these two things inside of your current file and not delete them. So once you've actually got your your file looking like this on your server, then what you'll want to do is you'll want to highlight, go to the archive that you downloaded and then open up the WordPress folder until you actually see all your files and folders like this. And make sure that you actually deleted the WordPress content folder because you do not want to replace it with this one right here. You do not want to override the current WordPress content folder with the archive folder. So once you've got that figured out and everything, then you want to go ahead and highlight all these files and folders. And you can see there's only two folders, the WordPress admin and the WordPress includes. Those are the only folders that are going back up here. So we want to drag it and drop it. And we're going to, over, we're going to upload these files onto your WordPress ser server. And then this is going to downgrade it to the version that you chose to downgrade to. So I'm going to give it some time to upload all these, uh, the 4.5 version back onto the server. And then I'm going to log into the WordPress site and show you that it is actually downgraded to the uh, version 4.5. So I'll be back once this is actually done. All right, so now that I've moved over or dragged and dropped all the archive folders into my server. You can see this is um, my demonstrations, my subdomain. What we'll want to do is we'll actually want to log into the WordPress site. So as you can see, before you can log in, you actually have to, it says database update required. And the reason is because your database did upgrade. You actually just changed it. Well, in this process is actually downgraded, but it did change. So we need to update the WordPress database, click continue, and it'll say update complete. So click continue, and then it should log me back into it. So as you can see right now, I'm inside of my WordPress site and it says WordPress 4.7 is available. Please update now. And if you scroll to your database or your dashboard, let me see the dashboard. It'll tell you that I'm currently running the WordPress 4.5 it's running the 2017 theme. And if you go to the actual home page, you may notice that you have some issues. And the reason that it's going to have some issues is because the WordPress 2017 theme is not compatible with the 4.5 version that I'm running. So let's check this out. So I'm going to open this up and you can see it says fatal error called to undefined function, the custom header markup. And these are the type of issues that you could deal with if you're trying to use something that's not compatible with your current version of WordPress. The best way for me to fix this would be to update the WordPress to WordPress 4.7. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and um, show you how quick and easy it is to fix this issue. So we're going to update now and it's going to just click on update. And then this should take care of that issue that we saw when I went to visit the home page. So now I'm back on the WordPress 4.7 
and if I refresh this then you'll see that the error has gone away. So that is how you downgrade to a previous version of WordPress and as I mentioned you can actually downgrade to any version that you want. Of course I don't recommend downgrading and using a previous version. The only reason that I recommend downgrading is if you were trying to upgrade and for some reason you ran into some type of technical issues and you needed to get your website back on line. Then what I would do is I would downgrade to the previous version, troubleshoot your issues, um, and then once you've realized what's causing the issue of upgrading, take care of that issue and then upgrade to the latest version because the latest version is going to keep your website um, more secure than if you run in a website version that is out of date. So Anyway, I just wanted to run you through the process of how to deal with WordPress issues if you are up upgrading and you run into some type of technical issues. The easiest way for, for me to show you how to get your WordPress blog back online is to downgrade to the previous version. So if you like this WordPress tutorial, be sure and subscribe and like this button and don't forget to um, visit my WordPress blog if you're looking for some more technical WordPress um, tips and tutorials. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day.